You have probably heard the term binary associated with computer technology. This refers to the remarkably simple number system that lies at the root of all digital computers. Binary numbers use two digits, 0 and 1. This flashing LED is an electronic representation of 0 and 1, off representing 0 and on representing 1. The processes in a digital computer are driven by an oscillator clock, similar to the flashing LED. This electronic device turns off and on, sending out a continuous strings of zeros and ones. The next step involves using these pulses to generate numbers, numbers that can be used in the mathematical and logical processes essential to the high-level functions of a computer. Binary numbers can be generated like this. These four circles represent four LEDs. We start by assigning a value to each of these LEDs. This LED has the value 1, the next one is 2, the next LED has the value 4, and the last one the value 8. 0 is displayed when all the LEDs are off. Turn the first LED on and we have the number 1. Turn that one off and the next one on and we have the number 2. The next step is interesting. To represent the number 3, turn on the first and second light. 1 plus 2 is 3. 4 looks like this. How do we represent 5? Like this. 4 plus 1 is 5. This is 6, 4 plus 2. And this is 7, 4 plus 2 plus 1. This is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All the lights are on. The largest decimal number we can represent with these four LEDs is 15. These four lights represent a 4-bit number. It is possible, of course, to create much larger numbers with additional places. You may see the pattern here. If we add another light, it will have the value 16. The next light, 32. Then, 64 and 128. This is an 8-bit number, sometimes called a byte. It can represent decimal numbers from 0 to 255. If you understand the place value of our standard decimal number notation, you will recognize the place values here as representing a base 2 number system. You may be using a computer equipped with 64-bit architecture. I'll leave you to calculate the decimal equivalent of the largest 64-bit number. Binary numbers are usually represented by ones and zeros. This 4-bit number, 1001, represents the decimal equivalent 9. This 8-bit number represents the decimal equivalent 131. I'll leave you to confirm that. In computer systems, characters, like the capital letter A, are represented by binary numbers. To a computer, a capital A looks like this, a binary number. You will notice that it is an 8-bit number and its decimal equivalent is 65. You can actually use this number to produce a capital A. Start a word processor like Notepad or WordPad. Hold the ALT key and enter 65 on the number pad. When you release the ALT key, capital A appears on the screen. Make sure your number pad is enabled. All commonly used computer symbols are represented by a binary number. Binary processing in a computer occurs at incredible speeds, with clock rates reaching billions of cycles per second. I'm going to build a circuit called a binary counter. This demonstrates the process of binary conversion, but at a much slower rate. We can watch it happen. I'll use the simple 555 timer circuit we constructed in the video 55 Timer, a microchip project. Review this video for safety considerations and information about working with integrated circuits and instructions for building this part of the circuit. This is the 555 oscillator. It is pulsing at a rate of about one cycle per second. The string of zeros and ones is being generated at a viewable rate. We're going to add a second integrated circuit to this project. 
a 4520 dual binary counter. This integrated circuit has 16 pins. Pin number one is here. Disconnect power to the board and plug this device in a convenient distance from the 555. This is the binary counter circuit diagram. Note that pin 3 on the 555 connects to pin 1 on the 4520. This connection sends pulses to the 4520. These pulses, off and on, represent binary zeros and ones. To create this connection, remove the LED and its resistor from the 555 circuit and then use a wire to connect pin 3 of the 555 to pin 1 on the 4520. Use the circuit diagram to complete this circuit. A printable version of the diagram is available at hyloroad.com 4520. When completed, your circuit should look like this. The four LEDs represent a 4-bit binary number. When they are all off, they are displaying zero. With power applied to the board, the binary counter starts counting pulses and displaying the count as a binary number. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, zero. We are witnessing an essential operation in any digital computer system. This process is the foundation of a hierarchy of mathematical and logical processes that enable modern digital devices. If you are interested in learning more about the architecture and operating systems of computers, check the links at our website, hyloroad.com 4520.